In the grasslands and forests of the vast subcontinent of India, there are hundreds of species of snakes. And every year in India, there are more than two and a half million snake bite cases, which lead to about 50,000 deaths annually. One of the most dangerous snake species is the Naja Naja, also known as the Indian Cobra. It's considered one of the top four most dangerous snakes in India, alongside the common crate, the saw-scaled viper, and Russell's viper. Recently, there was a genetic study of the Indian Cobra, which analyzed its genome in full. Professor R. Menjunatha Kini from the NUS, or the National University of Singapore, was the lead author of the study. He said, quote, For the first time, we now have a full list of venom-relevant toxin genes of the Indian Cobra. This is a major step towards understanding its venom components, and it will effectively change the way anti-venom is developed." Unquote. Now that's pretty exciting, and it's good reason to be hopeful. Now that we have the gene sequences, we can synthesize various types of snake venom, so we can study these chemicals without having to track down, capture, and possibly hurt or kill countless snakes in the process of extracting their venom. With this valuable information resource, we can effectively test and develop a wider range of antivenoms. We can also learn more about how the venom works, and even, perhaps, something about the evolution of the venom genes. In the University of Singapore's press release, they said, quote, Snake venom, primarily used by the snake to subdue its prey, is a great source of drug-like molecules. The Indian cobra genome is no exception and it codes for toxin molecules that can block pain, reduce blood pressure, and prevent blood clots." Unquote. When discussing the potential for creating an antivenom, Professor Keeney said, quote, "...it is about time we modernize antivenom development by leveraging genomics, recombinant protein expression, and synthetic antibody development technologies. The Indian cobra genome and the catalog of target toxins are a blueprint needed to do this." Unquote. He said that this knowledge, quote, will provide a complete platform for developing a safe, universal antivenom for snakebite victims all over India and neighboring countries, unquote. This is a wonderful example of how conducting a, a genome analysis has real-world practical results that can benefit people and improve lives and save lives. By fully sequencing the Indian cobra genome, we can now fully understand all of the components of its venom which means that we can produce extremely effective antivenoms, and this will go a long way towards saving countless lives.